Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add new elements to your home page with the Aveda theme. So what you do when you log into your site and go to your home page and click edit or whatever page it is that you want to add elements to, but we're working on the home page right now. So you click edit and when it first comes up it'll be in the normal editing mode and you want to click Fusion Page Builder, because that's what Aveda uses in order to add elements and easily um, change things. And here we have the sections of your site. Uh, welcome to Bombino Associates, the text, separators, uh, the blog section, testimonial section. And what we're going to do is add a property search as well as new property listings in the middle of all of this. Um, we use column options to set the width of the columns um, uh, for your page, as well as builder elements. So what you're going to do, okay, so we're going to look, take a look at where we're going to add the elements. So we're going to add the property search bar in between, or the property listings first, in between the top elements where it says, welcome to Bobino and Associates, and um, in between that and where it says, latest blog, right there. Um, so in between the top elements and the bottom elements, we're going to put it right there. So what we do in the Fusion Builder is we're going to first choose the width of the columns that we want. And you do this by, we're going to drag it down to here, okay. So you do this by clicking the full width or half width or, you know, however, well, you know, why do you want the column be, to be for each element. And what you're going to do is you click and drag it down to where you want. The we're going to put the new listing, so we're going to click and drag it and put it where you want the new listings to show up, which is right here. So that's basically a container. Next, we're going to add content. And you do that by going to Builder Elements. And there's all sorts of elements you can hear. We're going to use content boxes. So you click and drag the content box all the way down and add it to the container. And so that's a full width container. And then you're going to click the little pencil icon to edit it and to add content. Um, right here, it's four columns. We want to change it to uh, one column. This is going to be for one property listing. You can align the content left or right in the, in the box. And the title size is set to a default of 18 pix, um, pixels, but you can change it in that box that you saw. And there's a whole bunch of options. You can add an icon, you can change the colors of the background, add links, link targets, um, all sorts of options, but we're just going to do the basics right now. So to add content, you click the content boxes item number one. And in here, we're going to add a title, new property listing, and you can choose an icon if you want to add one. Um, I looked, but I didn't see a house icon. But if you wanted to, you can choose an icon and add it and set the settings for that as far as color and other options. And you scroll all the way down. And we're going to come to where we're going to actually add our content for the property listing. And you can type in all the information about your property listing into this box. Um, it has all the tools that you have seen in a normal um, post edit uh, or a page edit. And so just go ahead and type your information. You can add images. You can also format the headings. And to add an image, you click Add Media, like you do in a regular post. Choose an image, insert it. And then you can align it to the left or the right, as you would do in a regular posting. And for right now, we'll align it to the right. And everything works just like a normal posting. You put all your content in, align it, add quotes or bullet lists. You can add your contact information um, if you want people to call you about your listing. As well, you can insert links. You can insert links right into the body of the posting, or you can insert a link with the options in the box above, which I'm going to scroll up here in a second and you'll be able to see where you can add link. There's a link URL option. Um, when you put a link in, either whether you, whether you put it in the body of the text or you use this option to put a link, you have to choose whether you want it to be um, 
opening in the same window or a new window. Self would be opening in the same window, blank opens in a new window. So that depends on whether you want them, want the user, the visitor to stay, keep the page that they were on open for them. So we've saved our changes, now we're going to uh, preview. Actually, we save those changes, yeah, we'll preview to see what it looks like. And here we have our new property list in, listing. So we had chosen a full width um, box, and so the content is all spread out across the page. So what we can do now is we can change this into two columns, so we can add another listing, and then it'll look better. So we'll have two listings on the page. And so you scroll down and you add a new content box or content item to add the second listing by clicking add new content box. And you add all the same other information, or not the same, but all you know, your title and your um, description and your media um, as you did in the first box and click save after you do all your changes and your editing. And now we'll preview it and see what it looks like. And there we go, we have our two listings. It doesn't look perfect because I didn't style it. Um, I would make the headlines a little bigger, maybe 24 pixels to stand out. And of course I would align the text uh, either below the images or maybe to the left. Okay, now what I'm going to do to insert a property listing is I added just a regular page and I used the insert IDX shortcode in order to create a shortcode which I'm going to copy and paste into a content box on the home page. I'm just going to make a simple one um, with one form and a search bar. Um, so I insert that into the page and I copy it and then I go back to the home page where I want to insert the property search. I'm going to add, well here I've added a content box and I'm going to make it one column wide. I'm going to make the title size 24 pixels so it shows up better. And then I'm going to edit the content box. I'll put a title as I did with the property listings. And uh, I can also add an icon, maybe like a little search bar icon. Uh, or a search eyeglass icon if you want. Um, okay, here in the content box I paste the property code and add in the other elements. I'm going to make sure it opens as a blank page. If they search for properties it comes up in a blank page. If a user searches for property. And check all your elements and click Save. And now we'll preview it and see what it looks like. Here we go, it's a full width search bar. It doesn't look great, so what I'm going to do is, and go, is go back and I'm going to make a half column box, so that way the search bar is uh, a half column only. And then I could put another element on the right side of the page to balance it out. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Actually I didn't need to delete it, I could have just added another element and adjusted it, but here I'm going to go ahead and add a half column and I'm going to do the same thing. I click, As you saw I just clicked on it and if you just click on an element it'll end up at the bottom of the page and then you've got to drag it back to the top. So there's my container, I click builder element, click or drag content box down to the element so I can place it where I want it to be and go through the whole process again, um, clicking the edit button, except in this uh, particular setup I am going to show you how to add an icon that will go next to the title of the um, property search bar. So I make it one column, it's going to be half a page, one column, and here are all other options is how you want the layout to be. I'm using classic icon with title, you can just do a clean layout vertical with no icon, a timeline vertical, um, there's different, many, many different options with the Aveda theme, which is quite cool. So the title size, again, 24 pixels. And then I'm going to choose an icon color. I want it to be blue, the icon. And there's other options. You can choose a background quarter, color, border color. You can also choose the icon size since the title was 24 pixels. I'll make that 24 pixels. Um, the hover color, when you hover over the um, 
icon and as well as a title. You can choose the color for that, sort of like a hover link color. And you know, you can adjust all your other options. So there we go. I'm going to edit the content box and put my title in and paste in the search code. There are so many options in the Aveda theme. Um, it's amazing. Um, what you can do with this theme. It's really cool, not just for real estate websites, but um, regular websites, regular business websites or personal websites. So there, I choose the icon, uh, the search properties or the search icon, since I don't see a house. And I choose the icon color here as well. And some other options. And I'm going to paste in my property search code. And then we'll take a little preview and see how this looks. And there we go, we have the search bar with the icon half page. And that's it. That's how you add elements to the home page of your Aveda themed website. Mm -hmm.